folks. Kind of feel like looking at something rare today. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess this is what we're doing today. Uh, these are these are pretty hard to find, like I said. Um, these are the two, and the only two, Japan Toys R Us exclusive Lamborghinis that Mini GT has made. They are the LB Works Lamborghini Huracan GTs. This one is the Rosso Mars, and this one is the white version. Um, number 134 and 141, as you can see. And uh, yeah, these are really rare. These usually sit in my display case because I love them. And we have kind of taken a peek at these before, uh, a while back when I did my 1,000 subscriber special. We uh, took a look at this entire, uh, this entire line of cars. And uh, I figured it was about time we did an actual review on these. Because these are really cool. So that's what we're doing today. But uh, yeah, these are these are honestly really awesome cars. Like I said, they are really hard to find. They're expensive when you can find them. I paid a pretty penny for them. I didn't get any. I didn't get any homie hookups or friend deals on these. I paid the full price for them. So we are going to take a look at them and kind of do a little review on them. Um, I don't know how helpful this review is going to be. I don't know. I mean, a lot of the people that are really into Mini GT that um, are in the market for stuff like this usually already have them at this point because these have been out for a very long time i mean these, this is one these are in the 100s and we're almost we're like in the 700s currently of releases so these have been out for a long time but if you are interested in picking them up uh do be do be prepared to pay quite a bit for them they are uh, very very hard to find and uh that's where the expensive price comes from but anyways we'll go ahead and start with the white one and uh they these are both based off of the regular releases of the Huracan GT. So there was a regular white one. It has black wheels and it does not have the carbon fiber hood. So that's going to be the main difference. And then with this red one right here, it is also based off of the um, regular release of the red one. That's and that one has black wheels as well and no carbon hood. So uh, it's a really cool variation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it is, is a variation. Even though they are, there is enough different on them to, you know, for them to be accurately described as their own models. But yeah, so we'll jump into this white one. It's been a long time since we've looked at a Huracan GT because, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. But anyways, you do have these really nice looking red Forgiato wheels on this one. Again, this is number 141. And you also have... Um, just this like uh, glossy white paint throughout the car it does look pretty nice. You do have your Liberty Walk. Imagine all the people living life in peace right here on the door. There's the Liberty Walk Diamond logo right there. Uh, you have some more stuff back here. LB Performance, AK Produce, that kind of stuff. You've got Liberty Walk up here. And on the side of the wing support, you got Air X. Just like the standard Liberty Walk logos and sponsorships, you got C uh, uh csr2 which is a uh, mobile game and the wing mirrors are going to be rubber just like all mini dts and then the roof is going to be this really cool uh like gunmetal gray type color like metallic shiny type of uh texture to it it does look really nice and then it also kind of comes back over to the um where the rear hatch is as well and the front end this one very unfortunate and it makes me sad every time I look at it, but the front end is uh, kind of botched on this particular example. So you have your headlight right here. It is nice, clear acrylic with the standard Huracan um, headlight detailing underneath of the acrylic lens. But mine has like super glue running all over it. So you can see the little black outline that is supposed to go around the... Uh, actually, I don't know if there's an outline, but... There's a bunch of like black paint that's kind of like bleeding out from the headlight. And then you can also see there's a bunch of super glue residue just all over right here. And then 
it's just it's very rough looking there's a bunch of like black scuffs and stuff right here on this top edge there's a little bit in this corner right there and then there's some like black smudging down in this little um whatever that is but yeah really unfortunate it's also not perfect on the other side you do have like some more smudging and super glue residue right here as well so it's it's really sad but you know it's like there's nothing i can really do about it this was this is such an old and hard to find model that it doesn't it's hard to just go out and find a replacement for it but um hopefully if any of you have this one or are planning to pick it up hopefully you guys can get one that looks better than mine um, now when you hold it from a distance and you're kind of looking at it, it's not as easy to see. It's only when you're up real close, like actually paying attention that you'll see all the imperfections, but, um, from a distance, it looks pretty good. That's why I haven't really been, I haven't really gone out of my way to find a replacement or anything, but nevertheless, it is still unfortunate, especially on such an expensive model, but you do have some nice grill detailing up in the front. You have this black front lip going across the bottom of the car and then you also have these little uh these little air vents down here that say is lb works and lb performance and then you also have some advan logos right under the headlights lamborghini badge looks really good and like i said earlier really nice carbon fiber hood on this one the carbon fiber pattern is pretty nice it is kind of like zigzagged to make it uh look like it's actually woven when you look at it from a distance, that is really nice. And yeah, it looks pretty good. On the windshield, you have LB Performance with the um, Japanese flag and the Rising Sun flag, which apparently that Rising Sun flag is a uh, is an issue of uh, controversy lately. For those of you that don't know, and I'll go, we'll go ahead and do a little a little uh, side thing because I'm not getting this model because I don't like it. Um, the new Ken Murray in the Kuma Graffiti livery that got released. Uh, they were going to release it with this rising sun flag on the windshield banner, just like this. And uh, I guess people from I guess uh, people complained and it got removed. So there's some out there that'll have it. There's some that won't. I think it's I think it's stupid. But anyways, I guess I I guess I shouldn't be that harsh about it because I'm not uh, I'm not sent. I, I don't have any sentiments towards it at all. So, but anyways, it's I just think it's dumb. This side of the car is going to be pretty much the same. You do have a little bit of black right here in this event to give it a little bit of depth and color you have your fuel filler right there and aside from that everything's going to be pretty much the same on this opposite side you do have the little vents right here right above the wheels on the back engine hatch you have some black on these outside vents and then white on the inside vents you have the white shark fin uh, thing going up to the uh, spoiler and then you also do have carbon fiber on the spoiler which might be Another difference from the regular one, I can't quite remember, but the carbon fiber on the top of the wing does look pretty nice. It's not on the bottom, it's just black on the bottom. But on the rear end of the car, you do have these really nice blue tipped exhausts, two on each side. You've got uh, LB Performance on the license plate. Then you've got some nice white accenting running up through here. You've got some nice grill mesh detailing right there. Rear diffuser down on the bottom. Uh, nice looking Lamborghini Huracan taillights. They look pretty good. This one on, on this side is a little bit fuzzy, but it's okay. Lamborghini lettering right there, which looks pretty flawless. And yeah, it just looks really cool. It's an awesome Liberty Walk kit. Probably one of the most popular that they've ever done. And yeah, this, this is a really nice car. It's really cool. The flaws that it has are definitely sad, but it is cool just uh, because of the rarity of it, you know? But uh, that one's not, that one's probably my least favorite of the two. My favorite is obviously this red one. Um, again, this is number 134. It's got the Lamborghini licensing and everything. If you're interested, there is the UPC. As you can see, MGT00134 and then TRU, which stands for Toys R Us. These are left hand drive. And this one is really awesome. So you've got the glossy red paint but you also have the silver metallic wheels on this one and they're the same Forgiata wheels, but I think the silver wheels on this one along with the carbon fiber makes this one look really clean. So it's going to be really similar to that white one. You will have this uh, like gunmetal gray roof and the carbon hood on the front. Luckily this one, the headlights in the front end are flawless. There's no weird super glue residue or anything like that. 
but you will have all the same sponsorship logos. So you've got the uh, CSR2, LB Works and stuff, the Advan, uh, same same windshield banner, Lamborghini badge looks good. So the only difference is, uh, yeah, it has the silver wheels and the carbon. Again, there's the carbon on the top of the wing. There's the rear end. It does also have the blue exhaust tips and everything's pretty much red where it was white on the other one. And the taillights on this one actually look a lot better too. So this one is really cool. This one is uh, definitely my favorite. Uh, I don't know if there's actually real examples of these cars out in the wild, like if these are based off of one to one. Um, if there is, I'll put a picture of them both up on screen, I guess, so we can take a look. But uh, I, I, no promises. I don't know if these actually exist. This might just be something that uh, Mini GT wanted to do with the approval of Liberty Walk and Lambo. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, these are very hard to find, very expensive. Um, but uh, if you're in the market, here's a review for you. Plus, it's also kind of nice for me to catalog my collection and whatnot. And uh, I know some of you guys just enjoy seeing some of this more rare stuff from Mini GT. So that's why we do it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next video.